Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Windows Media Player is crashing very frequently when playing videos. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, on how to resolve this issue. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in Device Manager. Best result should come back with Device Manager. And now you want to expand the Display Adapter section by double-clicking on it. Right-click on whatever Display Adapter is listed under here and select Update Driver. Select versus Browse My Computer for Drivers and then select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. If you have a manufacturer-specific one, I'd recommend selecting that. Otherwise, you can select a basic Display Adapter that came built in with Windows. And then you want to go ahead and select Next to go ahead and actually install the driver. And then, once you've done that, go ahead and close out of here. And I would suggest restarting your computer. And then at this point, I recommend checking to see if your issue has been resolved. If you're still having a problem, something else you can try would be to open up the registry editor. So open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, or come back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the File tab up at the top left and select Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And then you would proceed to select the Save button. And if you ever need to import it back in or basically just restoring from the backup, you would select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location. So pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and jump right into it at this point. So start off by double clicking on the HK Current User folder. So go ahead and double click on that. Do the same thing now for the Software folder. Double click on it. And now you want to do the same thing for the Microsoft folder. And now go down to Media Player and double click on it. And then there should be a Preferences folder in here. Just left-click on that one time. Now you may want to take note of the file path up at the top of the registry editor here. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. So if you need to pause the video and catch up, you're welcome to do that. And now on the right side, you want to right-click in a blank area. Select New, and then you want to select the word 32-bit value. You want to type in exactly what you see on my screen here. I'll have it in bigger letters as well. You want to type in DXEM and then underscore update frequency. DXEM should be capitalized and then the U in update and the F in frequency should also be capitalized. Hit enter. And once you have that here, go ahead and double click on it. Make sure value data is set to the number 2 numerically. So just delete the 0 and type in number 2. Base should remain hexadecimal and select OK. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and close out of the registry editor. And I would suggest restarting your device at this time. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.